Champs, my name is Mohidan People. Today I'm going to talk about multiple background images uh, that we use with CSS3. Actually, in Dreamweaver right now, the uh, image that you see has been um, created only through the code. Basically, it's a div. Yes, it's a div uh, that uses uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven images, and they've been they've been you you know used as a uh, multiple background image. So all the seven images have been stitched together. They've been brought together, and then it becomes one single background image. And this was done only through the code. Yes, CSS3 now allows you to use multiple images in your background, unlike CSS2, right? So let's see how this was possible through the code and very minimal code people. Also very minimal uh, effort, right? No uh, sweat really, no big deal. In fact, if I go only to the code view, let me show you that the code isn't too much at all, right? I'm using HTML5 doc type people and uh, now this hash food is the division the only division that we have inside the opening and the closing body tags and this is the code that's firing off or stitching these seven images together let me bring up my uh, local side folder so let's check out how many images do we have one two three four five six and seven yep so all these seven images uh, have been uh, brought together and they work as one single background image using CSS3. So it'll be a great thing if I actually can scrap the whole code and uh, redo everything from uh, you know from the very beginning so you'll understand things a lot better people. All right. So I'm going to get rid of everything that is inside the opening closing style tags basically internal embedded rule also whatever is there inside the opening closing body tags and I'll leave the title as it is. So we are back at the very beginning from scratch let's start coding let's see how this was actually made possible all right um, yep this goes away to just have empty opening closing body tags all right in the opening and the closing body tags people I'm gonna insert a division using Zen coding code assist plugin to code out real fast you may not have a uh, you know that you may not have that plugin you can easily uh, download it freely off the internet and you'll be able to code as fast as I can so div with an ID of let's say food and control comma to expand the code quickly alright so we have an opening div tag with, uh, with the ID attribute set to food and the closing div tag out here okay let me create a new uh, rule by clicking on the new CSS rule button or that plus button out here you'll get a pop-up the contextual selector is automatically set to ID if it isn't you should do so alright and uh, the selector name auto populates as uh, hash food if it isn't it, if that doesn't happen you can do it manually alright the document is getting saved itself uh, in this document only the rule getting uh, saved inside this document only basically uh, we're gonna create an internal or embedded rule it's okay to you know when you're using small document a very small document one page document it's okay to keep it internal else you should keep it external which is the right way of working but since it's a very small example I'm keeping it internal or embedded alright let me say ok let me straight away head to the box category define the width as 800 and the height as 800 that also matches the size of the platter or the thali in which we'll be placing the different dishes alrighty uh, next let me go back to or go to the background category and select a background image for our example I'm gonna start off with this Indian cuisine recipe paneer alright very soft uh, in your mouth just melts let's say okay and uh, yep and just say okay and let's go to the design view to see what have we done so far well well it doesn't look like the original image does it never mind let's go back to the code view let's save the document up and let's code further okay now to use multiple background images you just need to comma separate them so to use the other image put a comma create a space and enter the second image 
I'll look for the second image. The second image that I would want to use is uh, the Raita or the Kurdi Raita. Alright. And uh, the third image that I'm looking for is this sweet dish called Gulab Jamun. The fourth dish that I'm looking for is the rice based pulao. Alrighty. The fifth dish that I'm looking for is the uh, fried, deep fried puris. Alright, and the next image that I'm looking for is the Lachha Parantha. Alrighty, and the last image, now make sure that this is the last image, is the base of the platter Thali, because this, the last image will always be uh, the bottommost layer. The first image, which is Paneer, will always be the topmost layer. Alright, in cases of uh, overlapping this is how it actually works right so make sure this is uh, you always select this as the last image and which is the thali the empty thali or the empty platter which is going to be filled up in a moment all right now that i'm actually done let's save the document up and let's see what difference has it actually made well everything gets repeated you know and it's kind of overlapping so how can we deal with that it's very easy people let me go back to the split view rather the code view and then I need to use another background property which is called background repeat I wouldn't want any of my images to repeat none of them actually and say no uh, repeat oh I made a mistake here this is background repeat set to no repeat alrighty I've not repeated the no repeat seven times when you just put it once basically implies that you you want the no repeat to affect all the seven images so if I just save the document up and uh, go to the design view you can actually see none of the images actually are repeating but it's a hodgepodge people you know just anything is sitting over anything else it's, com it's a complete hodgepodge but uh, never mind I'm gonna set it all fine alright let's get back to the code view now the next property that I would want to use is the background position property and for that I have to I have had to do a lot of calculation people you know you can place an image along the X and the Y axis on certain coordinates and which meant that I needed to be absolutely sure of the coordinates so here I'm not gonna hand code people I'm just gonna copy and paste some of the code and then I'm gonna explain it to you okay alrighty so after the background repeat I'm gonna, I'm gonna push in the background position property alright now you see uh, as in the case of uh, background image they are also common separated so this background position is for the pani.png image okay then you have a comma and then you have 310 145 basically displacement along the or offset along the x axis and offset along the y axis so how many pixels away from the x axis and how many pixels away from the y axis Mind you people, the height and the width we have used for the div out here matches the uh, size of the empty thali. As I can show you once again, this, the empty thali, if you notice, has dimensions of 800, 800. All right. Okay. So all the calculation along the X and the Y axis that I've had to do for the different images uh, was uh, done beforehand and had to be done cal you know, uh, properly so let's see the result right now so this is for the first image for this for the second the third the fourth the fifth the sixth and top left mind you uh, uh, notice out here I've not used the pixels out here. I've used the top left uh, placements now you can do that that basically means 0px 0px x and y and let's see how this actually affects the design area and uh, notice people everything is uh, kind of properly uh, Align except that the the rice based pulao is uh, too big in size, which means that I have I have to actually resize it. But I don't have to resize any of the other images, which are sitting pretty uh, in their different perfect positions, or almost perfect positions, with the a little bit of. Uh, choppy or uh, not too good cropping but that's okay I just want you to understand the concept let me go back to the core view now I'm gonna use the background size property and I'm gonna resize my pulao or the rice paste uh, dish and let's see how I can actually do that I wouldn't want to affect the, the rest of the six images because they are perfectly sized except the pulao 
and I deliberately did that so I can actually explain the code to you let me go back to the code view and yep so background size alrighty and I'm gonna say auto comma now when you say auto comma this is for the first image people basically means that leave it untouched leave it at the uh, size it is so for the first second third for the first three images I don't need to alter the size so I'm just gonna keep them at auto or automatic automatically keep them at the same size that they are, they are but for the fourth image which is wedge pull-off I'm gonna need to alter the size and I know my size I've done the calculations again it's 160 px and 260 px that actually works best for the uh, that that image all right then for the other three images it's again auto 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 and always terminate with a semicolon notice that I've terminated with a semicolon out here out here and out here and out here too but otherwise inside I've used commas to separate the properties for different images commas everywhere right comma separated values everywhere already so we have one auto two auto three auto four five six autos and one but I've not used the auto that is for the pull off and I just want to resize the pull off so this is how you're gonna resize people and let's go back to the design view to see the platter just the way I would want to see alright so we are actually done people so if you understand uh, whatever I've talked about so far you see how easy it is to uh, manipulate multiple background images into one since it's a CSS3 property I doubt it will actually work in RE8 7 probably might not and uh, but it's it's uh, surely gonna work in RE9 and above alright in most modern contemporary browsers it's gonna work people alright so uh, everything is uh, just the way I actually wanted to and I'm gonna terminate the tutorial but just before that let me tell you I've used the background uh, repeat property I've set it to no repeat that but there may be situation especially repeating patterns uh, where you might want to repeat it along the x-axis or the y-axis in which case the code might change to repeat dash y or repeat dash x horizontally or vertically right so you can create beautiful patterns now why use background images at all why not just combine everything in Photoshop or some other photo editor and just place it as is but then if you have repeating images if you do it through the code it's so very easy to create it right uh, whereas it may take a lot of effort to do so in some photo editors people it makes a lot of sense see this situation uh, probably isn't uh, best suited for uh, creating uh, multiple background images but then tomorrow if the client you know uh, wants to make an alteration or modification to the platter that you just saw then it's so very easy to do it with the code it takes a lot of effort you know to uh, manipulation modifications later on become easier with the code and not easier with your uh, image of photo editors right and especially repeating patterns along the x and the y axis becomes uh, so very easy to do with the code and codes uh, always uh, I suppose load a lot faster than the actual images alrighty people so I hope you found this information useful you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, you'll thumb it up uh, you'll comment positively hopefully and uh, you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day please subscribe bye bye